Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 37th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to continue our conversation about the queue list. So we'll just go new, console application, and let's say uh, list again. And let's just throw this out in the usual location here. Alright, and let's just throw our includes. And we're going to include queue debug so we can print some things out here. And once again, we're just going to very quickly uh, let's see queue list, create a list item here with ints, call it list. And this should be uh, this should all be review for you at this point. I will say less than ten, and I plus plus. All right, and we're just going to say list. Hope if I spelled it right, list append and I. So we're just going to fill our list here, and we're going to do something a little different this tutorial. You already know how to fill things and remove things, so we're going to talk about how to navigate through the list a little bit. Well, there's this thing called a queue list iterator. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. And there it is, queue list iterator. And you give it the generic type so it knows exactly what it's moving over. We're just going to call it iter. And we're going to give it the constructor of the list object or the container. Now, one thing we have to do here is we have to figure out where we are on the list. Well, by default, we're at the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while, and we're going to say iter has next and we're just going to say queue debug iter next now it's important to note that the uh, the iterator is not the actual item it's just a pointer to it so really what we're doing here is we're saying get kind of a dictionary if you will of this list and then we're going to start at the beginning and then we're going to say if you have a next item go to the next item. You notice how this is a function. Well what this is doing is it's actually returning the next item. So let's just save and run. And sure enough, there we go. Now another neat thing you can do is you can say how do we do this in reverse? In other words, how do we go from the highest to the lowest? So we'll say iter uh, to back and that moves it to the back of the list. And then we'll just say iter has previous. And then we're just going to get the previous item here. So when we run this, sure enough, it goes from highest to lowest. So that's how you can navigate through the list here. Actually, pretty simple to do. Now, one thing you can also do is you can peek. And what a peek is is very simple. Um, let's say you want to know what the next item is without actually moving to it. So you'll say uh, if iter dot uh, let's see here, iter sorry I'm not wearing my glasses again. We'll say have previous and then we'll just say uh, let's just copy and paste this here. We'll say peak previous because we want to know what the next item is without actually moving to it yet. And we'll just say next. Save and run. So we can see that we're printing out nine. So that's where we currently are. And we're going to peak ahead. See, the next one is eight. And then we're going to actually move to it. So that's how the peak works. And there is a peak previous and pre peak next. Sorry about that. So that, in a nutshell, is the queue list iterator and how to navigate through the list. Pretty simple stuff. Well, this is Brian. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.